working together as a team to get you well and enjoying life as soon as possible. They have state-of-the-art diagnostic and treatment options on site, including digital x-rays, ultrasound, nerve testing, durable medical equipment, laboratory, and much more to properly diagnose and treat your condition effectively. They accept most all major insurance plans, motor vehicle and workman's comp injury cases, and provide same-day appointments for your convenience. Advanced Healthcare specializes in the treatment of spinal pain, arm and leg pain, joint and arthritis pain, and headaches. Medically supervised weight loss with genuine HCG tablets or prescription medications are available as well. Your health is their business. Advanced Healthcare and Spine Institute in Jessup, health for life. Are you thinking of buying or selling your home? This is Kelly Lamb with Parker Insurance and Realty, your local source for all of your real estate needs. With this being one of the most important decisions you'll make in your lifetime, I would like to use my expertise to personally assist you through this process. At Parker Insurance and Realty, we offer a full range of real estate services, as well as any insurance you may need. Give me a call or stop by and let me answer any questions you have on selling your home or purchasing your new home. Call Kelly at Parker Insurance and Realty, 427-9345. That's 427-9345. Hi, my name is Garrett Pye. I'm a physical therapist at Smart Physical Therapy. Physical therapy is a conservative approach to a healthy and pain-free living. Here at Smart, you are guaranteed one-on-one time, every visit, every day. I, Garrett Pye, specialize in headaches, vertigo, and advanced manual therapy skills to address any soft tissue or joint-related pain. Whether it's your back, neck, knee, foot, ankle, doesn't matter. Come see me, Garrett Pye, at Smart Physical Therapy. We are located at 1251 South 1st Street, next door to David Orr Key Storage Buildings. Please call Smart Physical Therapy at 912-559-2071 and ask for me, Garrett Pye. Again, the phone number is 912-559-2071. And remember, it's your choice on which facility you choose. So call or come by Smart Physical Therapy today. Smart Physical Therapy, located in Jessup at 1251 South 1st Street. Give them a call at 912-559-2071. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for look latest in local news. In the news, Justice City Commissioners met Friday morning at 9 a.m. and the commissioners voted to drop their third insurance carrier group insurance, give them a 60-day notice of their decision, and then sue the company after that, seeking the $350,000 that they refused to pay on a claim of a city employee who had cancer. The city says the insurance company should have paid the claim. The new carrier will be HealthGram. All this taking place Friday morning at City Hall. Here's part of the discussion beginning with Justice Mayor David Earl Keith. Uh, effective July 1 and send notification, legal notification to uh, group resources that we're not going to renew their contract. I, I guess my, my concern is that if, if we've already got somebody in place on July 1, our contract problem, are we going to have a problem with that? Well, what, is the, what is the total? I don't have it in front of me, but what is the total? It's a 60 day notice period? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, really, we're talking about the rest of June, all of July, so you really you're probably talking about the first of August, aren't you? We are, but but we, we want to give them until the end of August to give them. Okay, so what you're what you're suggesting is that we send group resources a letter which terminates your contract. The effective termination date would be August thirty first, twenty sixteen. Yes, sir. So what does the new people do between now and that time? They're paying the claims that are coming in new claims. Why isn't that a breach of contract? With group resources. Because group resources is paying the old claims. So are we paying two different TPAs during the same time period? So we are. Mm-hmm. You're just paying the admin fee. And, and the admin fee currently is uh, is $25,000. So that's what you're, you're paying to administer five. the plan. It, so Jeez. that's what it costs a year, $25,000. Mm-hmm. He had mentioned, the commissioner had mentioned the other day what the cost was, and he had used the figure $250,000. Well, actually, the, the, the cost of the, the reinsurance and so forth is about 215000 okay? So the actual cost for them to process the claims is only 25000 mm-hmm. Your claims to date have, have been 310000 I also got a fully insured quote last year, just to compare it to the Blue Cross and Blue Shield. It's not a richer plan, but it would have been $800,000 plus thousand dollars for, the, for, the, for that. No. During the discussion on Friday, Commissioner Ray Haas threw out the idea that the city of Jessup simply get out of the insurance business altogether, simply give each city employee a $500 raise and let them buy their own insurance. But he quickly changed his mind, but here he is explaining his reasoning. The Affordable Care Act, we had no option. There was no option out there on the table. 
you put an employee out or we do away with insurance for our employees, well, we're not doing away with insurance for our employees. We're going to give them the money to buy the insurance plan that they want. That way there's no argument with us. They can go with Humana, they can go with Blue Cross, they can go with anybody they want, get whatever plan they want, whatever how much they want to pay. In fact, if they want to go with the bronze plan, we're going to give them $500 a month, and they go with the bronze plan, and they may, you know, if I'm 25 years old, what do I need insurance for? That's what I thought. I'm 25 years old, I'm 30 years old, I don't need any insurance. I'm, what's going to happen to me? I'm not going to have a heart attack, I'm not going to have diabetes, I don't want to have all these things. Well, I got them. And the point is, is back then we didn't have anything. So you are absolutely right. I argued that point every time. Did it? Got to have insurance for the employees. The idea with it is what I'm thinking is. Uh, let's go ahead and stay with the people we got. I've just changed my mind entirely. Let's go with the people we got and sue them, and start today <coughs> putting together for the next for next year. Let's get something else. And I'd like to see us allow our folks to go to the let me go to the market. That's what I'd like to see. We can bring whoever in, Humana, whoever wants to come in or whatever it amounts to. I, look, I've got the Humana Silver and I love it. The best insurance, I swear, bar none. I, I worked for McKenzie for 15, 14 years, whatever it was. My insurance was 80, 20, and if I had a million dollar bill, I owed $200,000. If somebody goes in the hospital right now, $200,000 of a million dollar claim, cancer and everything else, million dollar claim, their out-of-pocket expense is going to be what? $1,700? Yeah. $1,700? My God. How can, we, how can we afford not to do that? And, and the case of the silver plan, it would be 6800 Well, 6800 Well, look, I hope you don't have a heart attack. If you do, you're probably going to wind up having a But well, look, if you get a subsidy, and some of our... And once again, the commissioners vote to drop their insurance third-party carrier group insurance by giving them a 60-day notice. After the notice and time period runs out, they're going to take legal action against the company for the recoup of the $350,000 claim that the insurance carrier refuses to pay. New to the board is Commissioner Bill Harvey, who is simply uncomfortable voting on something he says he has little knowledge about. He says Friday, because no one has sat down with him and explained the city's insurance to him, they hope to set up a work session Tuesday before the city meeting at 7 p.m. to explain how the city insurance and the payment of claims works. Harvey on Friday didn't vote yes or no, but says his absence of vote says he's going along with the other commissioners in their decision. Once again, the city commissioners do meet this coming Tuesday on the agenda under old business approval of the second reading of the 2016-2017 budget ordinance, discussion of solar power for the treatment plant under new business, public hearing, Calvary Baptist, Francis Maxey, Cal Harris, Michael Stokes, and Judy Fender's request to rezone 415, 517, 555, 567, and 591 East Cherry Street from R2 to PR. Discussion of the Chamber of Commerce with Executive Director Christy Carter, awarding a bid for a new service truck for the water department. Also approval of the 2016 alcohol license for Kadish and Hurricanes Convenience Store at 105 Henson Mosley Road, beer and wine package only. Discussion of LED street lighting with City Manager Mike Deal and Jerry Cook. Also an executive session to discuss personnel. Items with the City Manager, items with Commissioners, items with the Mayor. Again, that city meeting set for Tuesday at 7 p.m. Meanwhile, the County Commissioner is set to meet tonight at 7 p.m. for their regularly monthly board meeting on the agenda. Under presentations and announcements, Commissioner Wright for Achievement and Continuing Education, Commissioners Roberts, Commissioner Hickox, and County Clerk Amanda Hanna, graduation from Region 9 Economic and Leadership Development. Under 10 minute public participation, consider and approve removing 10 minute public participation. Public hearings closing portion of Linden Bluff Road. Under new business, consider and approve a contract for Bennett's Farm Subdivision Roadway Improvements. Also consider and approve a contract for the 2016 LMIG Road Resurfacing. A lot of board appointments on the agenda under items with the county administrator. Cracker Williams pool update, update on status of audit, update on implementing Carl Vincent Institute pay plan, and change in July meeting due to the 4th of July holiday. Also, the executive session discussed personnel, and that takes place tonight at 7 p.m. I have a full report for you tomorrow here on the local news. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, other commercial messages, so please stay tuned. For over 60 years, Ultimaha Federal Credit Union has been a part of our community. Folks you know and trust, always here when you need us. We're celebrating our 60th anniversary by bringing you better ways to handle your money, by updating our system and implementing great new features and benefits to you, like an automated phone number that allows you quick, safe, and easy access to your account 24-7, the ability to transfer funds and send money to anyone with just a few simple steps, the security of e-statements, no more hard copies through the mail, and you can set up text alerts that give you instant information about your account. Here's to another 60 years of making life easy for our members. 
more community involvement, and continuing to be more efficient, safe, secure, stronger, and better than ever. Drop by anytime or visit us online at altamaha.org and join us today to reap the benefits of a financial institution that's run by hometown people with a hometown attitude toward service. Come home to Altamaha Federal Credit Union, Jessup, Ludowisi, and Scriven. When it comes to money, it always seems the unexpected happens when you can least afford it. That's when you need someone you can count on. At First Franklin Financial, we're here when you need us. We make loans for all reasons and all seasons, so just tell us how much you need. Stop by our office at 1074 North Macon Street or give us a call at 427-4237. That's 427-4237. The next time something pops up out of the blue, give us a call. We'll have you in the green in no time. We make loans for all reasons and all seasons, so just tell us how much you need. 912-427-4237. Apply online at www.1ffc.com. All loans are subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, NMLSR number 141654. Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656. Other news, Wayne County Board of Education. This is Bill Park. Friday afternoon at... At 6 p.m., again, part of the meeting was to name a new head football coach, Sean Jackson, who approved the job at 6 o'clock, but then at 8 o'clock changed his mind. We'll have the full report on that for you on our local sportscast. But other personnel was approved at the board meeting. Certified recommendations, Christine Barrett, Martha Rawls Smith Elementary, Amber Camacho, Martha Puckett Middle School, Vicki Drotty, Arthur Williams Middle School, Amy Langley, Martha Rawls Smith Elementary, Alexa Looper, Arthur Williams Middle School, Sherry Middleton, Martha Puckett Middle School, Terrence Ward, Wayne County High School, and Jennifer Young, Jessup Elementary. Certified resignations, Brittany Matthews, Wayne County High School, Jenna McDaniel, Martha Ross Smith Elementary, Cynthia Ann Reddish, Wayne County High School, and Ansley Watley, Jessup Elementary. Certified transfer, Regina Parker, Martha Puckett Middle School, ELA to ESOL. Classified recommendations, Terry Barnhill, Martha Ross Smith Elementary, Lottie Hunter, Wayne County High School, Dorothy Kreps, Wayne County High School, Steve Stanley, Wayne County High School, Pam Tillman, Wayne County High School, and Courtney Vickers, Martha Ross Smith Elementary. Classified resignations, Stephanie Bithel, Arthur Williams Middle School, Vicki Drotty, Arthur Williams Middle School, accepting the teaching position. Steve Roper, Transportation, and Ann Rivera, Jessup Elementary. Classified, classified transfers, Rosemary Clemens, SFS, Jessup Elementary to Odom Elementary. Tony Crawford, SFS, Wayne County High School to Odom Elementary. Leslie Garcia, SFS, Martha Ross Smith to Martha Puckett Middle School. Maria Hagens, SFS, Martha Ross Smith Elementary to Jessup Elementary. Curtis Hillman, SFS, Odom Elementary to Wayne County High School. Adrian Peterson, Parapro, Martha Puckett Middle School to Arthur Williams Middle School. Adina Tyre, SFS Manager, Martha Rawls Smith Elementary to Martha Puckett Middle School. Mabel Sue Smith, SFS Manager, Martha Puckett Middle School to Martha Rawls Smith Elementary. And Tina Sun, SFS, Martha Puckett Middle School to Martha Rawls Smith Elementary. Again, all that personnel approved Friday afternoon at 6 p.m. Wayne County Board of Tourism's annual catfish term held this past weekend. A tremendous crowd and a great turnout. Over 200 fishermen participated in this year's event. Here's the rundown of the winners. First place went to Tiff Thompson, 85.18 pounds. Second place, Ronnie Kent, 85. 4.60, third place Brandon Bennett 81.68, fourth place Jed Griggs 66.46, fifth place Jamie Hodge 66.38, sixth place Ken Heron 62.90, seventh place Bud Joman 62.61, eighth place Ricky Ware 61.72, ninth place Jimmy Bennett 57.08, and tenth place Bruce Balance 53.02. Shannon Bennett caught the biggest fish Saturday, 35 pounds. Danny Ammons' biggest non-catfish cigar, 10 pounds. Emily Deloach, biggest catfish by a kid, 24 pounds. And Robert Herndon, biggest catfish, 40.12. Jennifer Swanson, biggest catfish caught by a female, 25.28. Again, a very successful event this past Saturday and Sunday at J.C. Landing. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. For over 60 years, Altamaha Federal Credit Union has been a part of our community. Folks you know and trust, always here when you need us. We're celebrating our 60th anniversary by bringing you better ways to handle your money, by updating our system and implementing great new features and benefits to you, like an automated phone number that allows you quick, safe, and easy access to your account 24-7, the ability to transfer funds and send money to anyone with just a few simple steps, the security of e-statements, no more hard copies through the mail, and you can set up text alerts that give you instant information about your account. Here's to another 60 years of making life easy for our members. More community involvement and continuing to be more efficient, safe, secure, stronger, and better than ever. Drop by anytime or visit us online at altamaha.org. 
and join us today to reap the benefits of a financial institution that's run by hometown people with a hometown attitude towards service. Come home to Altamaha Federal Credit Union, Jessup, Ludowisi, and Scriven. When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties for over 13 years. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the only nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our new administrative offices, located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard, have opened recently as phase one of our building project. Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria, regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak to someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice, and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia, working to add life to your days. Final notes and news, Animal Refuge Foundation holding their annual meeting tonight at 7 p.m. at the Jessup Western Citizen Restaurant. Public is cordially invited to attend the meeting, and anyone interested in joining the organization is encouraged to attend. ARF is an official 501-3C charitable organization that operates as licensed rescue, which pulls and places dogs and cats who are scheduled for euthanization at the Jessup Animal Control Facility. Carol Gunther, Brandon Smith, a member of the Therapy Dogs International, will be the keynote speaker tonight. And following the Dutch Treat Meal, she'll give a brief presentation on the work that the organization does in local communities and the requirements for testing and training of certified therapy dogs. Again, the meeting tonight, 7 p.m. at the Jessup Western Sizzlin. Finally, in the news, again, the Sheriff's Department still wants to remind residents of that scam, telephone scam that apparently has a lot of Wayne County is receiving this call, claiming that the IRS is calling and all you need to do is make a payment immediately. Again, all scams want personal information such as social security numbers, credit card numbers, etc. Once again, this is the latest phone scam taking place in the area. Law enforcement are warning residents to not fall victim to this telephone approach. They state no government agency uses telephone calls to do official business. So again, if you receive a call such as this, just say the best advice is to simply hang up or better yet, with caller ID, don't recognize the number, simply don't answer the call. Again, Wayne County Sheriff's Department asking that people be advised of this latest phone scam taking place in Wayne County. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Again, we've got the latest on the search for a new head football coach in Wayne County. All that in sports come your way shortly. Bob Morgan saying have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. Is your kitchen looking tired or outdated but you're not sure how to fix it? Kitchen Tune-Up, located inside your Sears hometown store in Jessup, has affordable ways to get a fresh new look for every budget. Kitchen Tune-Up offers wood reconditioning, cabinet redooring, cabinet refacing, and custom cabinets. Cabinet